welcome back to this another lesson in oracle fusion middleware training and if you're listening it at some other place it's part of oracle weblogic server so in this we are looking at domain home and in this lesson we are going to focus on domain home earlier i mentioned about a high level overview of domain and domain home is the top level directory in which you have domain specific directories so things like admin server directory uh, java database configuration jms configuration files the log files and everything we discussed briefly in module one about various homes and domain home was one of them so when does this domain home gets created domain home gets created when you configure a weblogic domain how do you configure a weblogic domain you configure it when you run config.sh we'll see in this module how do you run or create a weblogic domain but domain home contains top level directory in which you have all the files and this is what you see on the right hand side uh, and that's a example or um, or server where we have already installed or file some look like so this is still here this is my or base home or base domain or this is my domain home inside that i have a bin folder which is where you see bin here so bin folder will have all the start stop commands my servers folder will have my admin and manage servers my node manager folder will have node manager depending on this in 12c you can decide and have node manager here or, or, or some other place as well so if i go under servers folder i will see a admin server currently there's only admin server started so these servers will get created or folder servers will get created when you start the servers first time so i've only started admin server in this domain and hence you see admin folder within admin folder or within the server folder i have cache data data log and security we'll cover that in a minute later in the respective then you have config folder within domain home the config folder will have configuration this config file folder i said earlier that config.xml this will have all the configuration for entire domain you can open this configuration file and tell what all things are configured in this domain you also have within config folder you have gdbc folder and in gdbc folder you have the java database connectivity file configuration file for the database connectivity we'll see that in a minute then bin folder will have all the start stop so you have start weblogic.sh to start the admin server you have stop weblogic.sh to stop the weblogic server then you have similarly start and stop node managers start and stop the managed servers as well so we'll see all these things what all are start stop uh, admin server and managed servers or node manager so this is all about a domain home then i said there is a server and i told you that there are two type of servers admin server and managed server we'll go a little bit deep into what this admin server and managed servers are and how does they look like so this is a screenshot about from a graphical user interface which i call oracle weblogic administration console or weblogic console and once you configure the domain and once you start the admin server, you will be able to log in and access this console. We are going to cover that in a minute or in subsequent lessons. So when you log in on left hand side, you expand this environment, you see servers and under servers, you see right hand side, there's something called as admin server and other servers, rest all are called as managed servers. So admin server first one and only and the managed servers. So that's about servers. So what is server? Server are of two type which is nothing but one is of admin server and rest all are managed servers these servers are used to host the applications and resources like war web archive ear enterprise archive czar java archive jdbc to connect to the database jms to message exchange between applications so that's for application now each server will have its own jvm and jvm stands for java virtual machine i repeat jvm stands for java virtual machine the java virtual machine will have some memory beginning memory in which the code is being executed java code is being executed then it there's a new concept in 12c which is called as dynamic servers servers which are automatically being spanned or spawned or created automatically based on the configuration as the load increases you can automatically scale up the services in 12c we'll see that in dynamic servers in a minute so this is how the java virtual machine look like so i said it's nothing but a java virtual machine this is how the java virtual machine look like what you see you do ps minus ef and grep for java on the unix machine so if i'm doing connecting to the server 
and I say PS and then UX and then pipe and then grep minus I and Java and if I run that command I it's going to give me if my Java process are running it's going to give me some output and here I get output so what it's saying it's saying oh this is the JDK I'm using or Java development kit 1.7 it's a server it's starting with memory XMS means small memory footprint one gig it can grow up to two gig and name of this web uh, server is OIM and score server one and there are some other properties of this server so the JVM is this particular process which is running under the process ID 26899 is the Java virtual machine in which the code is going to be executed so this is about a Java virtual machine. Each server, which either admin server or managed server or node managed server, will have its own JVM. They will have its own memory sizes. They will have its own uh, perm size and max perm size. Again, we'll cover that when these perm size and max perm size are covered in WebLogic. So if you're part of WebLogic training, this should be somewhere in the, in the training. If you're listening to this in WebLogic, you should see high performance tuning and that's when we are going to cover Java virtual machine in detail. We'll go deep into that. How do you tools, what tools you use to tune that Java virtual machine? How do you find out the garbage collection and everything? So that's about Java virtual machine. So as I said, head on to the next lesson where we'll look at and go deep into this admin server and managed server. And we'll also look at how admin server and managed server talk to each other and what is something called as managed servers independence or MSI mode. And we'll also look at clusters and dynamic clusters which are introduced in 12C. So head on to the next lesson. But for now, let me do a quick recap. On this, I said a domain home or domain is nothing but a domain home gets created when you configure a domain and it has top level directory in which you have all the other configuration files or log files or start shop files. So that's a domain home. You have servers which are of admin server and a managed server. The servers, each server represents a Java virtual machine. The servers where you host war file, ER file, jar file, JDBC, JMS. Each server have its own JVM. And there's a new concept in 12C, which is called as dynamic servers. And what exactly is admin server? What is a managed server? What is cluster? How do admin server talk to managed server? How, what is managed server independence? And so on. Let's head on to the next lesson. So I'll see you in next lesson.